Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lorelai. Today is September hmm, 12th, Tuesday. And I have inked up a new set of pens for September. I wrote almost all of my pens dry the last two weeks. A lot of pen pal letters coming in these days. <laughs> So, nothing wrong with that. I am happy about that, actually. So, um, I'm going to just... I'm not going to bore you with the inking of the pens. They're all, they've all already been inked. And I have um, my bottles of ink up here to show you, as well as the pens. And I'll go through each one. I tried to stick with a fall palette. I'm really mad though because I had recently ordered a sample of Robert Oster's Australis, Australis Oak. I think that's what it's called. And I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I had it on my desk and then I thought I put it in with all of my other samples. And I looked through that little drawer of samples and one by one, and I can't find it anywhere. I've been praying to St. Anthony all morning, so hopefully it'll turn up. If it does, I'll just ink another pen. But in the meantime, this is what I've got inked so far. So, let's see. Open up a new page here. This first one is a Jinhao 82 in this like coffee brown with a sparkle. Um, I tried to pick pens that also had varying nibs. So this particular pen has a bent nib. And I have put um, Platinum Brune Sepia, this pigment ink, in this pen. And it's writing very light. I'm not sure why that is, but... I don't know the term, the name of this, this color. I'm just going to put brown. It's getting a little bit darker now, so that's good. This is a lot like Australis Oak anyway, so it's fine. This next one um, is my Pilot E95S in Burgundy. And this has a... medium nib. And in this pen I have put... Um, a newer ink. I just bought this recently. This is Taranishi or Guitar ink um, and this is Nighttime Soda. I thought it was going to be more of a periwinkle blue but it, it's fine. It's just more I don't know, darker than I thought it was going to be. Your classic royal blue color.
I don't know what nighttime soda is, but. <laughs> there it is. This ink works very well with this pen. I wanted it to have a darker color in it, so that's why I picked this. Um, keeping in the theme of small pocket pens, this is my Kaveco Sport in... Um, I don't know if this has like a special name. It's Olive. Uh, I have a gold toned double rod nib on this. And I put another Terranishi ink in this one. This is Emotional Olive. And it works perfectly in this pen. Pretty happy so far with these choices. A little bit of feedback on that, yeah, but I'm not sure why. Okay. Moving on. This is my... This is my Pilot um, Custom 823 in the, what's this color called? Y'all are probably screaming it. We're just Maybe it's just brown? I don't know. I put Ferris Wheel Press Pumpkin Patch in this one. This has a broad nib. I like it. I definitely love it. The next one up is this little guy. This is a Jin Hao. Um, I don't exactly know what this pen is called, but this was literally like three dollars from Stationery. Oh gosh, what is the name of that? Stationery pal? No. What's that website that you can do like stationary subscription box with? with? It's just a metal pen with a hooded nib. And this I think is an extra fine nib. And I put uh, Hara Hara by Shikiori, Sailor Shikiori. I wanted something dark enough for this extra fine nib 
and that color is very fall in my opinion and I wanted something with a very fine nib just so I could have a little bit of variety. I believe last month most of my pens were all broad and by the end of the two week period that I had them inked I was sick to death of the broad nib. So moving on this is a Edison Pen Company. This is the Collier. I'm not sure of the color. It's got gold trim. This was something I got at Truffet. It's got a two-tone nib and it's a broad. Uh, I put Dominant Industry Maple in this uh, because it's uh, fall. I like this combination. It's very similar to Pumpkin Patch, but just maybe a little bit redder. But I think it's a good pairing. Yeah. Next up, is this Franklin Kristoff. I believe this is a model 46. And I put kind of an interesting color in there. This is um, Vinta ink and it's called Lac Bay or Sea and Sky. And it's much darker coming out of this pen than it is on this little label here, but actually really digging this. This is a broad nib, of course. nice. I love it. I don't think I've ever put this... I must have put it in a pen. Look, it's a half empty, so I don't know. I just... I haven't used this in a very long time. Maybe that's also why it's a little bit darker. But it does have a bit of shimmer. Alright, last one. This is my Ringa Monterey in olive green and it also has a broad nib and I put Dominant Industry Autumn Forest in this well, because it's fitting has a really nice wet nib. What a great lineup. are my currently inked pens for September. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I've got inked up and if you have any questions about any of these inks let me know. And I hope you guys have a really great Tuesday. I'll see you in the next video.